Hello, 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 sports fans, fantasy football enthusiasts, and everybody else who is in the end zone bound Yahoo Fantasy Football League. Check it out. You know who I am. I'm your boy Quan. Here to give you the recap on what happened in week eight. Let you know why people won and why some people lost. Okay. Some new I'm trying, so give me a little feedback. And if you like what I'm, you know what I'm saying, throwing down and giving to you, you know what I'm saying, dropping this knowledge on you. We had a crazy week eight. Everybody act like they want to show out in the NFL, breaking records and throwing for five touchdowns and, you know, just going crazy. So let's see what happened. I think a special note I think I should make is that nobody in the league scored under 100 points. That should even just give you a hint on how well everybody did. Okay, fortunately, we still had teams that lost. Okay, now, first game, we're going to get into touchdowns galore versus too hot for TV. And this is one of the unfortunates because I ended up losing 142.64 to 100.90. Now, even though I had Matt Stafford, who had 33.90 points, Corderell, Patterson, got me 19.50 points. Five out of six people that I had on my team, the road to the rest of the squad, had less than seven points. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, what am I supposed to do with that? You know what I mean? Anyway, regardless, you know, touchdowns galore did they thing. They flexed on me. They have Nick Foles, who got 39.84 points. Kelvin Benjamin had 11.40 points. Le'Veon Bell had 16.80 points. And Rob Gronkowski, OMG, 42.90 points? How can you compete with that? Once I saw he had Gronkowski, I was just like, okay, I give up. It's over. Next game, we had IBS going against Clubber Lang. Now, IBS came through with the W on this one, 145.92 to 120.36. I mean, with players like Antonio Brown getting you 37.40 points, Jamal Charles, 23.70 points. Witten came through with 13 points. Dag, he did a good job. He may be a top tight end, but I don't know where he would rank because usually, lately, I haven't been seeing him, you know, go off like that, you know, to get more than 10 points, so congrats on that. The Buffalo defense got him 15 points. His kicker, Justin Tucker, got him 15 points, and Andre Ellington got him 12.50 points. Now, compared to Clever Lang, who did start off good, because Thursday night, you know what I'm saying, Emmanuel Sanders got him 32.60 points. After that, he had three. There were three people on the squad who had less than 10 points. And it didn't hurt that Romo, you know, saying he got hurt during the game. He had to leave. So he only ended up having 11.46 points for you. So I know that kind of hurt you, you know what I'm saying? Because maybe if Romo stayed in the game, if he didn't get hurt, he would have made up that difference. You know what I'm saying? If he would have had like a real good game, because you only lost by like 25 points. You know what I'm saying? Less than that. Just less than 25 points. So, you know, Roma could have probably saved it for you. But, you know, it would have been good if some of them people who got 10 points or less did a little bit better. Oh, well. There's always next week, right? Now, next game we're going to talk about the A-Town Jags, who have not been doing that well this uh, season in the league. But this week they get their second win. Over the Philly B-Stakes, 150.04 to 101.50. Now, it didn't hurt that the A-Town Jacks had Peyton Manning, who got them 31.44 points. Or Deshaun Jackson, 18.60 points. Woo, Ronnie Hillman, 15.80 points. Antonio Gates, 17.40 points. Mason Crosby got him 12 points. And Arian Foster, the Coupe de Gras, 40.30 points. Damn. It's hard to compete against that. Even though Philly, 
You had Randall Cobb, who got you 28.60 points. Percy Harvin, despite uh, me thinking he didn't really have that great of a day, hell, he had 19.40 points. That was a smart pickup. You got paid on those return yards, son. That was nice. That was nice. That was nice. Okay. But, that damn Joe Flacco, woo, he only got you four points. And he's part of the four people on your team who got less than seven points. You know what I'm saying? When you have that many people on your squad not performing, it is hard to get those wins. You already know. Already know. Next game we're going to get into is Guess Who versus Juice Free. Always. <laughs> this time Juice Free couldn't come through with the juice, baby. You ain't got the juice this week. Guess who got the juice? That's right, guess who? And I'm not asking the question, okay? They come through with victory 152.32 to 133.68. Now, guess who was slamming and flexing and doing their thing? Aaron Rodgers for 37.82 points. Jerry Macklin got him 47.20 points. Damn, DeMarco Murray with 27.10 points. Forte, 26.80 points. Despite the fact Philly got you no points, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to say the rest of your team got you less than or equal to seven points. You did really good. Now, Juice Free... Even though you had Sammy Watkins, who got you 31.20 points in Forte. No, sorry, Larry Fitzgerald. He came through for you big time. I don't know if you just picked him up or he's been on your squad, but he got you 32 points this week. I know bonus points had to come into play on that one. Had to be. But I know how it feels to get them points, and I know you were happy. But... There were four people on your team who either got six points or less. And that's probably what factored more or less into, you know what I'm saying, your loss. Because when you look at the score, you lost by less than 20 points. You know what I'm saying? So that had to kind of hurt. But anyway, the next game we're going to get to, and final game, we're going to go with I've Got Agita against the Blue Wall. Now... This victory wasn't that far off from being going either way either because the Blue Wall only lost by 20 points. You know what I'm saying? The score was 154.56 to 134.70. Now, the Blue Wall had Andrew Luck who got him 36.60 points. His Miami defense got him 27 points. And Eddie Lacy got him 20.20 points. But... You had three people on your squad who had less than seven points. That's not good. That's not good. So, unfortunately, they couldn't help, you know what I'm saying, gather up these 20 points that you needed to pull through with the victory. And I know it's kind of hard when you go against a team who has Golden Tate, 31.10 points. T.Y. Hilton, 26.50 points. And do, 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 Tom Brady with 54.16 points. At that point, it didn't even matter that his Indianapolis defense got him a negative one point. Brady was like, I got this. Put the team on his back, baby, and got that thing. So, now the rankings are as follows. In first place, we have Guess Who with a record of 6-2. IBS with a record of 5-3. and three. We have six teams with a record of 4-4, four and, four, and they are in third place. I've got Agita. Fourth place, The Blue Wall. Fifth place, Juice Free. Always. Sixth place, Too Hot for TV. Seventh place, Philly Beef Steaks. Eighth place, Touchdowns Galore. Ninth place, Clubber Lang and oh I'm sorry, Clubber Lang has a record of three and five. I've got past all the four and fours. Now and in the basement, even though they got a second win this week, 
with a record of two and six, we've got the A-Town Jags. Now, really quick, I want to get into a segment that it was inspired by something that happens at my job. You know, where somebody does something stupid or forgets something that they shouldn't have forgot of, does something, you know, crazy, and they deserve like a whooping. So they get that whoosh. So I want to start a segment. I'm going to see how this comes out called The Whooping of the Week, where I'm going to get on somebody who should have did better, did something stupid, you know, in their lineup or whatever. But as I said before, there was nobody on our squad that scored less than 100 points. And for the most part, everybody kind of like did whatever they could, did the best they could, had the best people in their lineups for the most part. So nobody really deserved a whooping. And I was going to give it to Philly B Stakes because I was looking at your score and I thought it was the lowest, like 101. But then I looked again and I saw that my team had only 100 point something points. So, since I had the lowest score in the league, I tried to make a couple slick moves, you know what I'm saying? I tried to pick up Cadet from New Orleans, and it didn't really work out. So, I guess I got to give myself the whooping of the week. Whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> but anyway, it's your boy. I'm about to get up out of here, man. I hope you enjoy this week's worth of football that's coming up. I hope you get ready for Thursday night. You got New Orleans versus Carolina. I will catch you next week with the Week 9 Recap, alright? Peace.